In this video, we will learn how to solve a differential equation using separation of variables method. And let us say we have a non-linear first order, first degree differential equation. Let me write a differential equation in this form. That is dy upon dt is equal to y square t. Okay. So this differential equation is non-linear first order, first degree differential equation. How? Now it is non-linear. Why it is non-linear? It is non a differential equation is said to be non-linear if there is product of y and dy. Okay, dy upon dt. Okay, if a differential equation is uh, like this, where there is a product of y uh, times the derivative or if y is raised to a power greater than 1 sorry greater than 1 okay we say the equation is non-linear okay here you can see y is raised to the power greater than 1 okay that means it is non-linear if it was in this fashion then also it was non-linear okay now we have the first order by first order what we mean let me write it here first first order first order simply means that highest derivative is the first derivative that is highest highest derivative highest derivative is first derivative first derivative okay so highest derivative is this dy upon dt and it is the first derivative only okay so we say this is of first order first order it is also non-linear because the exponent of y is greater than one so this reflects the non-linearity non linear okay then we need to find what is first degree okay i'm not uh, you know using how to i'm not explaining rather uh, till now how do we separate the variables i am just trying to you know explain what is meant by non-linear first order first degree differential equation okay by first degree what we mean let me write it here first degree first degree is simply uh, when the derivative is raised that is when the highest derivative is raised to power one highest derivative is the first derivative and here you can see it is raised to the power one that means it is of first order sorry this is first degree first degree okay this was some conception uh, conceptual discussion now i have told you if we are being given a non-linear first order first degree differential equation and if it is possible to separate variables okay that means if the equation can be written in this form let us say uh, if it is uh, it, it if it can be written in the form of let me write it here r y times dy plus uh, st times dt is equal to zero if this equation the non-linear first order first degree differential equation can be written in this form that means in the separated variables where r you know r is a function of y alone and s is the function of t alone if we can write this differential equation in this format then the solution or the equation can be solved simply by ordinary integration okay so given this differential equation dy upon dt is equal to y square t i can also separate okay let me write it here so first we separate separate variables okay variables so this can be written as in this form if i transpose this y square here 
सो इट विल बिकम वन अपॉन वाई स्क्वेयर डी वाई इज इक्वल टू एंड इफ आई ट्रांसपोज टी डी टी हेयर इट विल बिकम टी डी टी ओके एंड इफ आई रेराइट इट और लेट से एज इट इज यू कैन से दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस इज इन दिस फॉर्म दैट मीन इज और इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई एलोन टी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ सॉरी एस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी एलोन सो दिस डिनोट्स आवर एस दिस डिनोट्स आवर और ओके सो और इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ऑनली सो और इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वाई ऑनली एंड एस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी ऑनली ओके सो और वाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू एस टी डी टी ओके नाउ हाउ डू वाई दैन सॉल्व वी सिंपली यूज द ऑर्डनरी डिफ्रेंसिएशन टू सॉल्व दिस वेरी डिफ्रेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके सो टेकिंग इंटरगल ऑन बोथ साइड आई कैन राइट इट इन दिस फेशन वन अपॉन वाई स्क्वेयर डी वाई इज इक्वल टू द इंटरगल ऑफ टी डी टी ओके सो वन अपॉन वाई स्क्वेयर कैन बी रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्मेट वाई रेज पावर माइनस टू ओके लेट मी राइट इट इन दिस फॉर्म वाई रेज पावर माइनस टू डी वाई इज इक्वल टू let us write it it is it as it is sorry dt okay now taking the integral now y so okay, y raised power minus 2 it can be written in this fashion y raised power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 okay by power function rule of integration this becomes minus y divided by minus 1 so we are left with y raised power minus 1 and y raised power minus 1 so when we integrate this we will get uh rather we have integrated it we got this thing here that is minus y raised power minus 1 okay plus the constant of integration let us say it is c1 is equal to the integral of t is simply t square upon 2 let us say we have the constant of integration here c2 okay now rearranging this this can be written as in this form that 1 upon y is equal to so we have two times uh, twice c2 plus t square here or we have t square plus 2 c2 upon 2 and transposing this here minus c1 that gives us and let me rub this out here so solving again we have minus 1 upon y is equal to multiplying again we will get t square uh, plus twice c2 uh, minus twice c1 upon 2 let us say this thing since these are the constants here let us say this thing 2c2 minus 2c1 is equal to c now let's reciprocate on both sides or let us write as it is first we get uh, t square plus c upon 2 now reciprocating we will get minus y is equal to 2 upon t square plus 2 multiplying both sides by minus 1 so we will get y is equal to Minus two upon t square plus c. Okay, so this is how we solve this. Here you can see since the constant of integration is a, or uh, you know, arbitrary until it is evaluated to a particular solution, it will be treated generally and not specifically in the initial steps of solution. Okay, and this uh, e raised power that means this c can be written in this form also. Uh, e raised power c or this c can also be written in uh, logarithm form that means ln of c okay then that can also be used to express the constant here okay so let's take another example let us say we have uh, the equation t dy plus y dt is equal to 0 okay 
so we will use the separation of variables method here again since uh, t times dy y times dt this is not explicitly uh, in this fashion that means here r is not a function of t and s is not a function of y so we can first rearrange this in this fashion that is t times dy is equal to re transposing it will become minus y times dt okay now transposing this y here it will become dy upon y is equal to transposing this t here it will become minus dt upon t here it is y okay so we have here 1 upon y dy transposing again it here it will become plus 1 upon t dt is equal to 0 okay now this is in this fashion r y dy s t dt because r is a function of y s is a function of t here okay so integrating both sides okay so we can write it in this fashion 1 upon y dy uh, plus 1 upon t dt is equal to the integral of 0 okay integral of constant now 1 upon y is ln of y plus 1 upon t is ln of t and the integral of a constant here so in this we can write uh, let us say it is equal to c i can again write it in this fashion ln y plus ln t is equal to ln c okay capital c that means um, since it is constant here i have taken this ln c in place of this okay for the sake of convenience uh, that means the ln of c will be equal to c i have taken c as a function of uh, you know ln here for the sake of convenience and this can be written in this fashion ln yt is equal to ln c so ln ln gets cancelled from the rule of logarithm that is uh, log or let's write it in natural form ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a plus b okay so we will get yt is equal to c okay this will be 